I'm from Penakai. Oh, you are from? Yeah, yeah. I live in Penakai now, yeah. And I was brought up in Penakai. My name's Cheryl Morgan. Um, I went to college in 1971, teacher training college, and then went to Essex to teach and came back here in 1995. Well, my grandparents um, lived in the Ongir, Ongirichav, which is just across the, um, the river from Craigenos, and they farmed that. It was an, and rented it from Madam Patty. Oh, I, I don't really know, back early 1900s, century. yeah, yeah. My father, um, he was born in 1908, I think it was, or six, 1906. Um, but when Madam Patty died and the estate was um, sold off, they sold off all the you know, small, all the farms and things. And my grandfather wanted to buy it, but he was just outbidden. So um, they couldn't buy it. And they went then to live in Penakai in Penrock and had a little small hold in there. Well, it became a hospital then. Oh, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so was um, TB. It was a TB hospital. Um, and then it was a geriatric hospital after that. No, yeah, I was born in 1953, so that was, yeah, all it, you know, it all happened by then. And it was when I remember it as a, um, a hospital, not a TB hospital, a geriatric hospital. Yeah. Mining and farming, really, yeah. Of course, the mines, my father worked in Abercrave Colliery, and um, when that closed then, um, I forget the year now, but he he was out of work then, he, you know, he didn't find another job. Well, there was nothing around there was yet, nothing else. really. Yeah, I was a teenager then. Um, you know, so, it, yeah, there wasn't much work. There was the clock factory, what was called the TikTok, in uh, in Astrid, but that was the only factory um, around, really. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where Tesco's is now. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how many it employed, but it was pretty big. The TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Building clocks, making clocks. Yeah, making clocks initially. Yes. Then it made parts for cars. Um, you know, the, the clocks and the dials and th that sort of thing. Oh, right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, how long has Tesco's been there? It, it was Lucas then, it was called, making, you know, car parts. Um, well, we did. <laughs> you know, it was hard. I mean, uh, you know, my parents never had a lot of money. Or we never had a car, for example. and. You know, but we, you know, they managed. Yeah, in in my lifetime, I think things have changed enormously. Yeah. No, no. I've, when I came back here, um, my friend and I, we had a little village shop in Abergrave. Did that for ten years. Um, then, luckily, I got a job then with Careers Wales for another 10 years, more or less, and then retired. <laughs> so I enjoyed the shop. It was, you know, it was good fun. Hard work physically, but, uh, you know, it was, it was good.